Hello everybody, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living and today is a brand new day, new mentality. I've been easing into this mentality for a while, but two days back in, or three days back in Costa Rica and I'm fully into it. I don't know what, I've, sh I've shaken off the little bit of a, uh, and it wasn't the food, there's just something that just wasn't right or that's just not part of my life where I was living. I think it's part of the, and hey, there's nothing else to do up there, it's so hot. You don't get any breeze up there, but like in my mom's, for instance, we have central air conditioning there, which is what I grew up with. But there's no screens on her windows, and her windows haven't even been opened in probably 30 or 40 years. So I'm breathing, I'm not breathing fresh air during the day. I'm not getting it. It's a small town. Now, yes, I could make a point to go out and walk every day, but I don't walk when I'm there. Because my walking is purposeful. My walking is because I'm going to the market to walk. My, mar my walking, I just don't go out for a walk. Now, I did move my body a lot while I was in the States. I did a lot of uh, cardio work on the treadmill and what have you. But it's not the same mentality as when I'm walking around down here. Bottom line is, I'm feeling great when I'm now that I'm back. And I'm exploding with energy. And I've been easing into things Saturday. I gave my body a rest day. Well, a Friday too. I traveled Friday, Saturday. I don't think I did any exercise other than walking. Sunday, hit it again. Did, um, did my body weight training and what else? What else? I took a couple of really long walks yesterday and then today, Monday, is back proper, proper workout. So very first thing this morning, uh, did some of my body weight training here at the house and then I went to the gym. Ponied up, put the money down, went in and finished up my supplemental. Like I say, I have some supplemental stuff. I've started doing weights around all the body weight training. So I went up to the gym, finished off um, a little bit of weight training, and got on the Treadmaster there. Because I wasn't able to get, you know, I wasn't able to get out and do anything outside cardio-wise this morning. And I probably won't today because I've got a yoga class at um, six o'clock. But yeah, there's a new mentality. There's just something in the last few days I felt it just like sinking in, like, like really locking in. Like my mind is steel right now. I don't even have any desire. There will be, there's no desire to have a cheat meal, to eat anything that's less than optimal. Now optimal, okay, that can be debatable what is optimal, but basically it's just clean eating for the next three months, clean eating. Uh, lots of training, lots of smart training. I'm not going to do anything, you know, if somebody had uh, asked me something like, well, you better be careful about, uh, don't you think you might be overtraining and doing this and that? No, I'm doing things smart. I'm really listening to my body. Even when I got, you know, even when I went to the gym while I was in the stage, first time I had been in there in a while, I was determined not to, I don't know if you've ever worked out in gyms or done a whole lot, but you know, there tends to be that you get too gung-ho and aggressive, and for the first few days you go back to the gym, you just over, you try to do what you used to do, and the next day you're crippled, you, pet, you hurt so much. I've been very smart with my training, and I will continue to be very smart with my training. If I feel anything straining, if I feel any, any overuse, I'll back off or I'll use something, uh, an alternative uh, form of exercise. Um, and I think with the working out and the combination of the yoga, that that's just gonna, that's gonna, that's gonna work perfectly. But I'm going to basically, for the second half of 2015, I'm gonna lay it all on the line. This isn't just for fun. This isn't just for a little bit of cleaning out. I'm gonna push this shit. I'm gonna see how far I can go with this raw vegan thing. Strength-wise, uh, feeling, energy-wise, um, and just see what happens, you know, with some good, like some real focused clean eating and a lot of good body movement. A lot of different type of body movement. I have a lot of experiments planned, you know. I don't want to get back, as, as I walked into the gym this morning, I promised myself that I wasn't going to get back locked into this routine like, oh God, well, you know, maybe, maybe surf it like I haven't gone to the gym or maybe I was, I, I would be scheduled to go to the gym today but the waves are good. So I go to the gym instead of going in the waves. Or, you know, I've got somebody ask me if I want to go up the mountain with them and I go to the gym instead of going up the mountain. I want to be flexible. I want to be fluid with that. And I want to do a lot of different um, types of training. I wouldn't even mind doing a little mixed martial arts, even though I'm 51. I, these young guys down here probably break me. <laughs> I know there's some guys that do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, but uh, this is the real deal. We, you know, we got a lot of Brazilians in this country, and there's some uh, 
psycho Brazilians doing uh, BJJ, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu here. But um, I, I was thinking of it, it's funny, this morning I was in the gym, I thought of this cheesy old line from one of the Rocky movies. I remember when um, Apollo Creed was training Rocky Balboa for his, uh, I forgot who he was fighting, that was his opponent in the first fight, but they became friends, he's training. And uh, Rocky Balboa is doing something on the beach and they're talking about it and, um, and uh, Apollo Creed says, there is no tomorrow. And that's kind of the motto that I want to start taking on. I'm lazy. I'm, I procrastinate. I've got a lot of problems up here. I may not show these that much, but I have a lot of little blockages up here that have tended to hold me back. Like, I'm always holding back. You know, I'm like, well, we'll do it next week. We'll do it tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. Every day I wake up, I want to get out of bed like I did this morning, ready to go. First thing I did, I was I was preparing. The second I got out of bed, the, as soon as my eyes were open, I usually go grab my iPad and just lay in bed and read a little bit. Well, I didn't want to linger too much today and just, you know, just, I don't know, that's just not the vibe I want to be doing anymore. So, went and got 32 ounces of orange juice that I had in the fridge, came back, and was on the iPad for maybe half an hour. Got up. Started doing a few things, did my body weight training here at the house, and then knocked back 32 ounces of water. Then I was ready to go to the gym. So I was hydrating. And man, you better believe I feel that hydration. I mean, this is on, I've already had, um, when I came back from the gym, I had a big smoothie. Just bananas, just, um, just uh, bananas and water. And now I'm drinking this second jar. So it's all about the hydration. If I'm going to do all this physical stuff, I've got to be hydrated while I'm doing it. So um, I had that uh, six, uh, I don't know, I probably had about eight, maybe three bananas, three or four bananas, and then I made that smoothie with about, probably about six bananas in there, so. And I got these bad boys for later. The mangoes are really righteous right now. I'm digging these. I was drinking, I drank a good, a lot of, uh, well, I drank orange juice and mango, a lot of that yesterday. I drank pineapple. Orange juice and pineapple, that's good. So the fruits, yeah, I'm back into them. Looks like i uh, got about four of these big big boys right now. I'll get some more today. Um, everything's good on that front. There's plenty of fruit. The only thing I've been missing a little bit, and I will hunt that down today. Like I say, I mean, I'm just getting back, just getting back, getting to all my places, getting things done, trying to uh, I'll allocate my time, do a little bit of work, do a little bit of this. And the next couple of days, I've still got some, you know, just getting back stock in my house up to do greens i need my greens I haven't had many I haven't had greens very much in the past four or five days off to get greens today we'll probably be start sprouting some lentils today too for uh just for a little extra boost of protein i know i'm uh, more than likely i'm getting uh, you know enough protein um in the fruits and in the greens but i think since i don't eat a lot of nuts and seeds that um that some sprouting will be in order but yeah I'm just gonna mix it up you know um, but I'm gonna hit it hard I'm gonna hit it hard this is it this is it man I'm 51 years old won't be able to move forward for too for you know too many years there comes a time when it'll just be a, you're kind of like holding your own in a holding pattern you're not you're just trying not to decline anymore but while I've still got some giddy up in me I want to see how far I can push it and I want to see how much how much I can improve and basically just how physically fit I can get. Like I say, it's not about going and running a marathon, it's just getting this body very efficient to where I can go out and play, have fun, out in the sun, running around on the beach, going surfing, going hiking, just doing all the fun things there are to do down here. But anyhow, I hope you guys will follow me on this. I'm going to have enough energy. I'll be able to share some of this energy. If you're feeling down, if you're having an off day, you know, shoot me a message. I'll send you some of this energy because it's all, it, I'll keep saying this until people just stop even listening. They're like, God, this psycho just repeats himself. It's all up here. 99% of this stuff's up here. All the stuff, all the, I hear a lot of self-defeating talk all the time of, or tiptoeing around. Now, yes, I preach doing it smart and I, I do talk about a thorough transition, but don't take forever. Don't take forever doing all this stuff, you know. Somebody, I, I there all the time, people weaning out or like making a big deal of getting off coffee. Make yourself a plan and get the hell off coffee. I used to drink a pot every day before 10 o'clock and then that was just, that was kind of like an appetizer. I'd, I'd drink the rest of the day, but I'd have a pot before 10 o'clock. I quit, you know, I still drink. So I don't want to be a hypocrite because I don't really have a problem with that. I still drink coffee about three times a week. 
Um, I'm thinking about dropping even that low during this intense uh, training period just because I want my body as clean and pristine as possible, but it's up to you. Just do it. Don't talk about it. Don't think about it. Don't wait to do it. Do it and do it today because you never know there is no tomorrow. Anyhow, hope you guys like this one. I hope you're off to a good start on your week wherever you are and I hope you will watch the next video. See you guys. Peace.